Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to remove my butterfly full locks. Okay, I've had this hairstyle for almost four months now, so I've decided to remove them today. I did one off the camera so that I could see how easy it was going to be because it's gonna be my first time uh, removing um, this hairstyle. What I like about this hairstyle is that most people saw me with it like they thought it was my real hair. <laughs> they, th they thought it was like real uh, dreadlocks and yeah, I, I love it and I think I'm going to redo it again. Um, I saw on YouTube that you have to unravel it like uh, in the opposite direction that it was raveled in. So yeah, you have to decipher. Um, the locks from your hair you know my hair was uh, braided with a, another extension so I have to decipher the locks that is on top of the braid that's the braid right here that's the braid right here and what I'm holding it's the full locks okay it's the butterfly full locks and you're gonna need a scissor Okay, so I'm I'm gonna cut the butterfly full locks. Make sure that you're not cutting your hair. You're just cutting on the butterfly full locks. Okay. See, that's the braid. My hair is in this braid, so I'm going to remove the butterfly full locks. I'm gonna <laughs> double check that in a mirror because I don't want to cut my hair. <laughs> Give one second, guys. <laughs> it's checked. Um, it's not my hair, it's the locks. Okay, I just cut that. And now, yeah, I have to pull it away. You see, that's the locks. I'm pulling it away. Um, I saw on YouTube that when people, they have this hairstyle, they, do, they don't have like another extension. They don't braid their hair with another extension, but for some reason, um, the person that was doing my hair, she, she had me buy other extension to braid my hair in it. So, I don't know if it was because she wanted to make more money because she was selling those extensions. I don't know. So, that's the extension. So that's not really my hair. So, I have to pull the locks. Thank you. Look at this. So guys, that's the full locks that was on top of this braid. And now I'm going to... There's a there's a leftover um, of the full locks. So I'm going to try to take it away, take it off. Okay, let me try to unbraid it. Maybe it will be easier. My hair is there, and it's I have like a real, really like a big shrinkage. I don't know if that's the word. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut it off. I think it's way better if it's short. It make it easier. Oh my gosh. And yeah, I need to try other scissors. Okay, not done yet. Okay, so I was about to finish it off the camera. <sighs> okay, you see all this dirt? You have to be gentle with your hair. But I feel like my hair is so strong. Like I'm kind of proud of the way it is. Yeah, proud of my hair because it doesn't feel like it's weak. And I didn't wash it at all like for, for like this four months. I only washed it today because I like to wash my hair when it's braided. That way um, the roots will be clean. But I've had so many, like, uh, you know, 
hair on top of my head. I don't think it's that clean, so I will have to rewash it again after. Yeah. This part, you have to do it with your hands with no comb because the dirt make your hair very weak, very prone to breakage. So you have to detangle with your hand, with your fingers. And I wanted to show you all guys um, as you are unbraiding and you are um, as you are unbraiding and you are removing the full locks, you also want to have you know your special bottle. Uh, in this bottle I have like um, well watch the other videos on this channel and it's my twin sister's YouTube channel so she she has she has like many videos about how to make those you know special bottles so so you're gonna need to spray some on your hair to make it smooth as you are finger detangle detangling your hair I hope this makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, because you 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 need to remove the buildup that's at the bottom of the forelocks. You need to remove them with your fingers. So, yeah, just don't forget. Okay. So I'm gonna twist this. Now, let's go for this one. Remember guys, you have to start at the roots, you know, that's the build up that I was talking about. Okay, you need to unravel at the opposite direction. So try to see which direction is like looser. Okay. Okay. That's the looser direction for me. And now try to decipher the locks from your hair. So I'm going to finish this off of the camera. So I'm going to finish it like in front of my mirror and then show you guys the result. As you can see, guys, the struggle is real. <laughs> so I've been, my hair is so shrunk right now. I love it when it's like this. That shows your hair is healthy. So um, I've been unbraiding and removing hair like for like three or four hours or even five hours. I'm exhausted. I'm watching true crime stories as I'm doing it. <laughs> so I I wanted to show you all guys how I do the ones in the back. I do it uh, like I do them differently from the ones in the front. For example, that's how I do it. I only cut the tip of it, the tip of it, I cut it off, and then I take the locks, I unravel it. Because obviously I don't have highs in the back of my head, so I cannot see the roots, you know. So it's better that way, that way I'm not like, I'm not scared of, you know, cutting my own hair, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I definitely thought it was going to be harder to remove those full locks based on what people say, but it's not. It's not that hard. It's very easy. And I love this hairstyle. <laughs> I love this hairstyle, but you know, there, there comes a time when you have to change the look. Yeah, we black people, we love to change looks so yeah i'm gonna i'm going to finish it there's still some full ups left yeah i'm going to finish it off the camera i just wanted to give you some updates and then i will show you all the big afro of mine
now it's late at night and i i'm done uh removing the full locks and i left one in the back for a aesthetic purposes okay so so i put in some handmade uh, conditioner so you do need to subscribe to this channel because my sister have a lot of those videos you know she's talking about how to make those conditioner okay so yeah now i'm going to put like a plastic bag um on my head i'm gonna wrap all of my hair with the plastic bag for a while for like 20 minutes or 30 minutes and then after that i will wash my hair um yeah that's about it and i will show you all guys the the weasel afterward okay and yeah it, pretty long yeah it's it's long i cannot complain can't complain i'm getting so much length i'm definitely gonna do this butterfly full lux hairstyle again in the future yeah because i love it okay guys this is the result after washing my hair okay so that's it um please don't forget to subscribe to this channel like the video and watch the other videos okay and yeah support my sister with her channel and she has like a lot of good tips to give you guys on how to grow your hair she has really long hair